If you were told that similar to human beings, jinns do have different languages and religions, would you believe it? Let us dive into the story to learn more. What if everything you trusted in life, your peace, your stability, your sanity began to fall apart before your eyes, piece by piece? This case is of a brother who lived an ordinary life. He had a stable job, a loving family and a peaceful home. Life was good, but one fateful evening, a darkness he couldn't explain took root inside him. It started subtly, sleepless nights filled with strange, haunting dreams, creepy anxiety and a growing rage he couldn't control. What was happening to him? At first, it seemed manageable, but as time passed, the darkness deepened. Every day, the brother found himself snapping over minor things, his emotions spiraling into uncontrollable rage. His family saw the change too. He was no longer the gentleman they knew. He would lash out violently, turning even the smallest arguments into heated conflicts. His nights became more terrifying than his days, filled with nightmares that felt more real than his waking hours. Why him and why now? For 10 long years, he searched for answers. He saw doctors, tried therapy and even followed the advice of his friends, but nothing seemed to work. The darkness inside him seemed to grow stronger and trapping him in a prison made of his own anger and despair. Every day, he withdrew from the people he loved, fearing that his rage would destroy them too. Finally, out of desperation, his family intervened and introduced him to Rukia Healing, a place where dealing with the unexplainable is common. He was skeptical but had no other choice. His life had become unbearable. And so he began his journey with us hoping for relief. But what he found was far more terrifying than he ever imagined. During the very first session, something eerie happened. The recitation of the Quranic ayahs had barely begun when his body began to move on its own. His limbs twitched uncontrollably and then a deep foreign voice erupted from him, it wasn't his voice. It spoke in a heavy Australian accent, the voice of a jinn. The jinn was very, very arrogant and defiant, claimed himself Jewish, part of a larger sinister plot to run experiments on human beings. It had built a fortification around it and it was performing black magic on him. Now, the question is, how had it come to this point? As the jinn spoke, the horrifying truth began to surface. The affliction didn't start overnight. Ten years earlier, the brother had met a man who had claimed to be a healer, offering amulets for protection, love and prosperity. Over time, this healer, he grew closer and closer to the family, gaining their trust. But unknown to them, this man wasn't a healer, but he was in fact a magician, using forbidden forces to manipulate their lives. By the time the brother realized the truth and he cut ties with him, the damage had already been done. The jinn had taken root inside him, Seated by the black magic cast years ago. From that moment on, his life spiraled out of control. His anger became more volatile, his emotions harder to control. Every fight with his loved ones felt like a storm he couldn't weather. How could he escape this curse? Each session was a battle, with the jinn retaliating violently, refusing to leave, but then during one particular intensive session, everything changed. The truth finally came to light. The jinn wasn't the only problem. It was tied to something far more 
insidious. The black magic that had plagued him for years had a physical anchor hidden in his own house. The source of the curse had been planted in the most unsuspecting place, his living room. How could something so dark have been so close to him all these years? Our team searched and identified the black magic was through an amulet which was found and neutralized. Alhamdulillah. And things started to change immediately. The oppressive weight that had suffocated him for years began to lift. His anger subsided. The anxiety that was so much over him loosened its grip. And for the first time in a decade, he felt lighter. The darkness that had clung to him for so long finally began to fade. He could breathe again. And he said that I feel like a completely different person now, calmer, more at peace and closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The storm had passed and he was finally free. But the question remains, what would you have done if you were in his place? If you discovered that your life was being controlled by forces beyond your understanding, would you fight back or would you let the darkness consume you? The brother's story is just one of many we have witnessed at Rukia Healing, where we combine the power of Rukia with personalized care to help people break free from unseen afflictions. Here are a few important lessons that we have learned from the story today. Number one, spiritual symptoms like anger and anxiety often mask deeper issues as seen with the hidden black magic. In this case, as Rukhya therapists, we must dig deeper knowing that Allah's promise is true. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that indeed the magicians can never be successful. And with Allah's guidance, all hidden afflictions will be uncovered and defeated by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number two, we should be aware of false healers. Many times we have found that people trust the wrong spiritual healers which are often the source of harm as the brother learned with the magician posing as a healer. It is crucial to educate others on discerning between genuine guidance and harmful practices. Number three, patience is the key in healing. Spiritual healing is a process that requires time and persistence. Despite slow progress, continued efforts ultimately uncovered the source of the affliction showing that patience leads to the true recovery.